Today we review the Borat sequel on Amazon Prime, and it's very nice. High five. Nope. On Film Threat Reviews. I'm Alan Ning, I'm with Zorana Kitt, and today we review Borat's subsequent movie film, Delivery of Prodigious Bribe to American Regime for, for Make Benefit Once Glorious Nation of Kazakhstan. Good uh, this job. Movie, Good this job movie, in pronouncing that, uh, that whole title. <laughs> I know, it's That's insane. Right. Uh, one of our most favorite journalists, Borat, has been serving hard labor for the shame he brought on Kazakhstan in the previous film, and now he has a shot at redemption. Uh, this movie is directed by Jason Wolliner, stars Sasha Baron Cohen, Maria Bakalova, and skewers uh, of some very famous politicians and basically the state of Texas. So, uh, um, so yeah, this is this is a crazy film. Um, it's also a sequel to one we've seen before. So I, I think the nature of the film should not be a shock to anybody. So, Zarana, what did you think of? This film. <laughs> well, I remember when the first one came out, I, I was at the Westwood Theater. There was an advanced screening. And I mean, I, along with everyone in the crowd, we were in hysterics. People were laughing so much. Like people were in the aisles. I was practically peeing my pants. Like <laughs> I had not laughed so hard and so consistently in a movie for, uh, like, I, I just couldn't remember when the last time was until Borat came. So I was such a huge fan. Unfortunately, this movie's not funny. It, it's not, uh, the, the joke has worn off now. Mm -hmm. uh, it is, uh, it, I can't even recommend this film, to be honest. Um, yeah, you know, let me let me ask you this, because um, I, I, I get this sense that, you know, you and I saw it at home on our, on our screens. Uh, this movie's gonna be available on Amazon Prime. I feel like if we had seen this movie with a theater full of people, that maybe we'd have a different reaction and maybe- I thought about that. Yeah. I, I did think about that and I wondered, was I missing a collective experience? Um, <clears throat> because I I did not find it funny. Um, I also, you know, I was thinking about why, like what's changed? Did I change? H have I Have I moved past it? Have I become someone else? Have the times changed? And, and the truth is that the times have changed. You know, we are living under a president that was not president at that time. The, 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 Trump, uh, the tr Trump's America is, is um, all the underbelly is now out in the open. So everything that Borat was exposing in that first film were sort of the dark corners of America that people didn't talk about much, the mm -hmm. anti-Semitism, the racism, the, the classes, all sorts of stuff that was more, that, that required kind of a, this, a jokester or a hidden camera or that kind of stuff to really expose it and bring it to light and then have everyone just kind of go, oh my God, like, wow, this exists. But today, it's so prevalent. It's so out there. It's it's out on social media. The the, these, the joke's too easy, basically. Well, it is, yes. yeah. And these people who Borat is uh, exposing, well, they expose themselves already on their own Facebook accounts, their own Twitter, their own social media accounts. So yeah. it's not something that works today. Yeah, I mean, calling Trump crazy is not new. <laughs> you know, it's it's a joke that's been told for many years now, uh, many, many years. And so it's it's old. I I mean, personally, I liked it a lot better than, than you did. I think it's just because it was more of what was in the first film, which was these WTF moments, these, uh, these insane interviews, this insane access that he has to uh, not only these politicians of one which, well, of one of whom is skewered, like you'll never believe in, we could reveal it here, but it's going to hit the news. Um, and so if you've seen it, you know what I'm talking about. It, but it, but that's kind of been Sasha Baron Cohen's MO from the very beginning with the Ali G show is, uh, is you know, getting these insane interviews, suckering, um, you know, straight-laced politicians into an interview with him and then asking them and doing the most outlandish things. There was only one politician interview in this film. Uh, which was the one that happens at the very end of the film. Yeah. So, um, and it wasn't even done by him. 
So uh, yeah, we I, should mention that there's a second character in the movie, which is his daughter, played by yeah. uh, Maria Bakalova, and uh, and so she plays a significant role. And it, it the the story, which is really ultimately the subplot, is this uh, this father daughter relationship between Borat and and his daughter. He had to do that because. Yeah. He, Borat, the character, is way too famous and way too recognizable, as we see in the film, when people are chasing after him, they want his picture, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. So he, it actually, Maria Bakalova is actually like the ace in the hole here. She's like, yeah. she is, this movie could not have happened without her because we're watching someone who the world doesn't know. We're watching someone and we're seeing, can she step into Borat's shoes? Does she have what it takes to be like him and can sort of take that mantle and continue that legacy and go? Because he he can't, he just can't because he was yeah. too successful. And actually watching her, she's amazing. <laughs> like, she is the movie. Like it was like, yeah. oh, more of her please. And she's the one who ends up doing this interview at the end of the movie with the politician. And it only works because it's her, not Borat. Yeah. You know, I, I liken the Borat movies, both of them to uh, to a martial arts film or, yeah. or a, a, a porno in a way, you know, you're not there for the, the story, the underlying story. You're there for those moments. Um, Let's let's go with the martial arts example. You know, you're you're there for the fights, and that's what's going on here. Is these interviews, these uh, these interactions he has with the public, that's the that's what you're watching. And then there's this loose plot, and it's very loose in this case, uh, that threads through um, between the two of them. The most amazing to me, the most amazing part of this movie is the father daughter dance, which. Uh, <laughs> Which I can't describe to you, but um, you know, I saw it with my wife, and oh, you mean with Sarah Jessica Parker and uh, Mr. Drummond from different, <laughs> yeah, Bill yeah. Drummond, okay, yeah, um, okay, yeah. I mean, you know, I, I, you know, my wife is much more straight, straight laced than I am, and I'm looking over, going, what is she thinking? I mean, because the subject matter really gets into obscene levels, and I'm like, ooh, you know, it's hard to tell, it's hard for me to read her, and she was just busting up. And she but, was, but didn't you, and this is, I think, an, another problem that the success of the first movie had mm -hmm. that goes against it in this one. Did you not wonder, like, okay, how much is this staged or how much are these people in on the joke? Because I yeah. I didn't trust it all. I didn't trust that what I was watching was unfolding genuinely. Yeah versus something that was a little more staged and something that was more scripted and planned. And you that know, ruined my enjoyment of the film. I didn't trust it. Yeah, you know, for the first, for most of the film, I felt it was genuine because I think that's that's what makes that movie work. Um, I do, I will call shenanigans on the, the politician at the end. Um, there's the, the, the thing that happens, I feel, I, I may be wrong, but I feel like it. Parts of it was staged or edited weirdly to make it look worse than it was. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And um, this is, and this would be for a spoiler spoiler show. To be staged or to be inauthentic, I think, kind of goes against uh, those films and what what Sasha Baron Cohen has done in his career in this in this area. So I tended to trust it a lot more than than. Well, I, but, but I think, like to a certain extent. Maybe people didn't know what was going to happen, but they had to agree to a certain extent that, like the the debutante ball. Like, yeah. yes, people looked on in horror, but yeah. I felt like they looked on in horror not because um, they were prepared that their ball would be crashed by someone insane, but more like they knew that they were participating in something. Yeah, they didn't know what it was going to be, but to just react. To me, that's. That's why I like watching this is this it's a social experiment of what you can get people to do uh, when put in front of a camera and pressured into doing something that you don't do. And whether that reveals your, the true nature of your character or whether you're just kind of going along with it in order to not embarrass yourself, at, at which point you embarrass yourself further. You watch people suffer and squirm. But realize, boy, if this ever happened, you know, and you pray that this never happens to you either. So basically, it's like watching an episode of Punked or like the yeah. James Kennedy experiment back in, I don't know if it was like the late 90s or early aughts. Yeah. But, but, but those shows actually cared about your feelings 
and uh, cared about the ramifications of the situation they're putting you in. Uh, not this. <laughs> no, but I also feel like given the time that we live in with the type of White House that we have and the type of uh, media and social media of things being exposed constantly, there is no big revelation. Like, yeah. yes, there are anti-Semites and there are right-wingers and racists and all these types of people that maybe would have been shocking back when the first Borat movie came out, but it's just not so shocking. You're not surprised by anything in this movie. Yes, and so I think part of Borat, which made the first one so great, was the shock value of like, oh my gosh, this is how these people think? Oh my gosh, like we were all such newbies, just couldn't believe that this is what we were seeing, uh, uh, you know, happening in America, but now it's just like, well, of course it is. Yeah. I mean, we see it on Fox News, on CNN. We see it uh, everywhere. <laughs> we see it on social media. All I mean, right. You know, if Maria Bakalova doesn't pick up the mantle and carry on, maybe the next film should be <laughs> about <laughs> her character. But then again, she would be too recognizable. Like there would, they yeah. would need to be yet another sidekick that would be doing all that work. Yeah. So uh, just based on the fact that you're not impressed at all, uh, you didn't find it funny, uh, I'll say you gave it a four, four or five. Yeah, I, I, four and a half. I'm going to split the difference because, um, because I just think it's just not, it's just a movie that given the times doesn't work. So mm. I, I really didn't think it was funny. In fact, I thought it was more mean spirited than anything else. I, I, oh, yeah. There was no lesson to be learned from exposing these people. And these people didn't learn any lessons also by virtue of being yeah. exposed. They're, they didn't expand their minds. Uh, mm -hmm. So, yeah, I can't, I don't recommend this film at all. Alan, oh my gosh, you liked it more than I did. <laughs> you did. I don't know. Maybe it's a guy thing. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, you probably gave it a seven or is this actually six? I think you gave it a no, seven. No, I gave it seven and a half. Um, oh. My you, know, you know, it was just, oh my gosh, just these moments, these cringy moments that you just want to share and love with other people. <laughs> and uh, I mean, it's just the 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 worst of humanity. And uh, I just, it, it's a car crash that I'm driving slowly but, by. But don't you feel like you get the worst of humanity already on a daily? Yeah. In the first movie, it was a revelation. And so yeah. I'm just, I, I, I. Yeah, no, I, I get what you're saying. I, the thing is, is I knew it going in, you know, I, I've seen a lot of uh, that. I seen the Ali G show. I saw the first Borat. Mm -hmm. I, I'm not surprised with what was presented in front of me. And, you know, so it, was, it met my expectations. It, it did what I liked about the first movie. Yes. Times have changed, but you know, he's still skilled. Um, you know, it was still funny. It's just, you know, that's why I liked it. And, so and I think anyway, I, I don't I think fans of Borat are gonna like this movie. Yeah, but like so he disrupts my, Mike Pence and Mike Pence looks really stupid and Mike, you know, yeah. but, not but gonna, yeah, I, I get what you're saying. It's not gonna affect anything whatsoever. Yeah. You know, it might have even even the revelation at the end is gonna do zero. Zero public conversation. Zero. Let's see. Oh, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment below about uh, Borat, uh, subsequent movie film delivery, a prodigious bribe to American regime for make benefit once glorious nation of Kazakhstan. <laughs> um, and with that, let's get out of here. All right, I'll try to.